Hey guys, in this video we are going to install solar panels on a flat roof. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. We are located in North California in Bay Area and the recommended tilt angle for this area is about 25 degrees. For roof mounts we're going to use Iron Ridge Q-Base and the Chemlink E-Curve to seal this and Iron Ridge Tilt Legs to have 20 degree tilt for solar panels. Now after allocating all rafters we can install Q-Bases and uh, it's, it's sold as a separate items. First is a just Q-Base, second part is a posts, we have different lengths of these posts and then uh, I just bought uh, 5 sixteenths 3 inch lug bolts. After installing all posts we can start installing Chemlink curb kit. This is sold as a package, uh, we're getting this plastic curb, in this case we have 6 inch, then we're getting Chemlink M1 uh, sealant, and then other component is a uh, pourable sealant from Chemlink. What is interesting about this project is that we're installing 16 solar panels, and the sealant and mounts were more expensive than solar panels. And here we are installed all mounts and we are ready for tilt legs and wrecking. And here's a tilt leg from Iron Ridge. In this case it's 20 inch long and in the package we're getting bottom leg. And bottom leg is adjustable. We can adjust anywhere from zero to make it straight up to 30, 30 degree. And uh, this is back side of the leg. We're attaching this to the mounts and then we can adjust uh, angle of the panel. Yesterday we did all mounts, today doing rails. This is iron rich tilted solution. This is gonna be 20, about 20 degrees. And uh, we did push this yesterday and you can see it's really soft. It's gonna take a few months to fully cure this. So we have to be really careful not to puncture this. Now it's time to run wires and uh, Anywhere where wires can be exposed to the sun, we are running this in the metal conduit. Now it's time for solar panels. What is nice about tilt solution that we have access underneath the panels. So we are just installing them and uh, then we're gonna do all wiring which is faster of course. Right here is the Tesla Powerwall 3 and uh, it's pretty easy installation here because we have new electrical panel with exposed knockouts so it's easy connections. On the power wall side we did the AC connection with a split core ferrite coil right here and then AC disconnect and then circuit breaker for power wall right there 60 amps. Now I'm going to install Myers hub and we're gonna go do it on the top from solar panels. Now here's a conduit from the roof, painted because it's required by the city. We have three strings coming uh, from the solar panels 
And the final step here is to apply all labels and uh, I'm waiting for inspection. All right, guys, that's all about this video. I hope you'll find something useful here. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel or hit like button. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.